Hey everybody, welcome to LessonsWithTroy.com. I'm Troy Burning Meyer. Well, in this week's lesson, we're learning Song of the Islands in C6 tuning. Uh, from your thickest to your thinnest string, keep in mind I have an eight string here, so we're just going to be focusing on strings six through one. So that's C, E, G, A, C, E. So C6 with that high E. Okay, and measures one through the beginning of measure five of your tablature. Sounds like this. We start on beat two of measure one. I'll count you in. One, two, three, four, one. Okay, so we're on our fourth and our first string. This is the intro to the tune. Sounds a lot like, like a, you know, Hank Williams Sr. intro, really. And you're just walking that up chromatically, meaning one fret at a time from nine to 12. Keep in mind strings four and one, thumb and index, or thumb and middle finger. And then you bring that back to 10. Keep in mind, I'm not lifting my bar, so I'm trying to keep everything real smooth. So even if it does have a little bit of a slide, you know, that you hear um, when you're shifting frets there, that's okay. Now, when you make that transition to your second and your uh, fifth string there, you're going to use some palm blocking here with the heel of your hand. So I just touch it right as I'm moving down. So once again, um, after you walk that up. So that palm blocking, you just touch it as you're making, pulling your bar down to the second and fifth string there. Then you're going to do a slant there on your 8th fret and your ninth fret, 5th string and 2nd string. And then I do it, grab 3 strings there, strings 5, 3, and 2 on my 10th fret. Now right before I play that, that slant there on, on frets 3 and 4 on strings 5 and 2 as well. I mute out. I do palm blocking there to mute out. <clears throat> then I do grab strings five, three, and two. That gives me more of an F6 chord. The song's in the key of F, so we'll be working off this fifth fret here. But if you wanted to make it sound more major, you know, not have that sixth in there, you could grab strings five, four, and two. It's just a straight up major chord versus. It's a lot more Hawaiian sound and really adding that, that sixth in there. Now, let's talk a little bit about tone and, and you know, how to get a good tone. Um, on what I'm using for an amp, I do have the treble rolled almost all the way off. Um, and I have my, my hand in front of the, the pickup up here. So, you know, it's not, it's not like that. I'm trying to get a softer sound on that. So a soft sound, trying to pick soft. You, you, sometimes I have trouble, you know, being a, a dobro player, picking too hard. So pick real soft. You want to connect all your notes. And 
and then where you can, you know, where you have some some notes that uh, have a little bit more duration that ring out, try to put some vibrato on there. And keep in mind, this is kind of a new way that I'm approaching vibrato, is think of your bar being directly over the fret, and you're going to be moving your bar an equal distance behind the fret and in front of the fret. Like that. You don't want it to be just behind the fret, because then it'll sound like it's flat. Just about that speed sounds, for me, I like that, that speed of vibrato. And try to get those, the, that blocking in so that um, notes that you don't want ringing out, you know, you, you mute out. Okay, don't want to forget one big thing here is the harmonic part, playing the harmonics. So before we get into the main melody, we have this little filler of, of a, just harmonic. I'm playing this with my thumb, and the A-H that you see in the tablature, that means artificial harmonic. That means that your bar is going to be here on your fifth fret, and I'm going to move this black cloth there so you can see what I'm doing. And <clears throat> with the heel of your hand, you're actually going to be 12 frets up from 5, so on your 17th fret, with the heel of your hand, right, if you can see that. And what you do, what I like to do is I like to shoot for where my thumb is. I look at my thumb and the heel of my hand, I just kind of practice this to where hopefully the distance between my, my thumb and my hand stays about the same so that the heel of my hand will be where I want it, even though I'm targeting where I want my thumb to be. But the thumb's just picking the string, but then the harmonic part, you're getting right here on your 17th fret. So if you karate chop 17, right like that, um, that's gonna be the heel and you just barely touch that. And then when you hit it, you're kind of bouncing your hand a little bit like that, right? And my thumb happens to be around by my 11th fret. now. If you're, if you're getting this kind of a sound, right, it's muted, don't just keep playing at that same position. What you want to do is move your hand back and forth until you finally, you know, lightly kind of touch the string. And then find that sweet spot where, the, where you're getting that harmonic. But I see a lot of students sometimes they'll, they'll just keep playing the same place with their right hand even though they're not getting the harmonic, right? So if you're not getting the harmonic, you're either pushing down too hard or you're not in the right position. So lighten up you know, your touch and then say, say I'm way off. I'm just gonna keep coming up. Until I find where that harmonic is, right? And then once I get it, I, I I try to memorize that. I think, okay, if I want a fifth fret, you know, artificial harmonic there, palm, palm chime, or whatever you want to call it, my thumb's going to be about plucking around my 11th fret, and that puts the heel of my hand 12 frets up from 5 to be 17th fret. Now, you'll see sometimes in the song I... I just pluck it individually like that, and other times I do the same harmonic, but instead of plucking it, I strum it. I strum the harmonic. I just lightly brush it. So you might hear that in this tune as well. Okay, now let's go ahead and move on to the main melody of the song.